So originally I had plans to teach you how to tray flip today, but then this happened. <laughs> and it's also raining outside and it looks a little bit like this. Yeah, it's pretty wet. So that means I cannot go skate outside because of how wet it is. And also I work today, so I'm here at the store and I figured why not teach you how to skate here in the store? But I'm not gonna teach you how to tray flip. One, because I was practicing earlier and for some reason I can't do them right now. My board is like completely waterlogged for some reason or has no pop anymore and it sounds like this. Like that has no more pop. This board is the one that I'm currently using right now. And you can tell the difference in noise just by that. Like, that sounds like really, really good board, while that one sounds like very terrible board. So I have to get a new board here in a little bit. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to varial kick flip. That way, y'all can go ahead and learn how to do that. And then, one step later, you can learn how to tray flip. I've already taught you how to pop shove it, and I've already taught you how to kick flip, and you can watch both those videos up here, or click the links down in the description if you wanna learn how to do those, if you have not learned how to do those yet. But you're gonna combine those two together to make this trick here. And here's your setup for it. So your setup is gonna be like this. Here is your ollie position, just like that. Here's your pop shove it position with your back foot being on the edge of the board and your kick foot position is like this. You wanna combine the two together so your front foot's gonna be angled a little bit. Your back foot is gonna be on the pop shove it side like this and your motion is the same motion as you would for a pop shove it where you kick this way but you're also going to flick this way right there. If I were you, I would go ahead and get some crayons and draw your foot placement on the board because it's going to familiarize yourself a little bit better with the foot placement. I would do it on this board, but it is not mine. It is Eric's board, and I don't want to draw all over it, so I'm not going to do that. But definitely, if you have your board at home, use some chalk, use some crayons, get your foot placement down. That way you know exactly where to put your feet whenever you, uh, when you're doing this trick. A little tip for you whenever you're doing this trick is do not turn your body when you do your pop shove it or your kickflip motion. If you turn your body, you're actually not gonna wanna land on it correctly and it'll look something like this right here. So right there, don't turn your body because that's what it's gonna look like. What you actually wanna do is keep your body parallel with the board when you're doing the burial and that'll follow the board and you'll be able to land on the board. Catching this trick is a little similar to how you would with a pop shove it. You're gonna keep your front foot following the board. So this is what it's gonna look like with your foot. Your setup and your position exactly like this. You are basically popping like you would an ollie but you're scooping back. This front foot is flicking off the edge as you're doing same motion with your back foot. It's all one motion. So you're going basically like that and you put it together and it looks something like this. See my front foot never left the board. It kind of just followed it that whole time. The back foot, I am bringing back for a second, but I do want to bring it back on the board too. Like I told you in the last video, you always bring back your foot. So what you're gonna do is use your front foot to follow the board when you're doing your very okay foot. It'll look a little bit like this. You wanna do this over and over again, just so you can get used to the feeling of following the board and catching the board. What you kinda of wanna shoot for is putting your front foot on the bolts. So you're watching your bolts as it's flipping and you're putting your front foot down right there on the front bolt. So imagine your board's flipping in air, your front foot follows it, bolts right there. The hard part is getting your back foot on and the back foot you just have to be confident enough with your pop and your flick to just bring it back and land bolts too. And again like you do every trick go ahead and practice this in one spot. Use skater trainers, use grass, use carpet, use a crack. I really don't have a preference there. Now that you've done your front foot catch, you've practiced that and you have it down, let's go ahead and try to work on that back foot catch. I will mess these up a little bit and just to kind of show you what it's gonna look like for whenever you're doing it, but I will show you what it looks like whenever you land them successfully. And then after that, you know the next step, and we're gonna do this whole rolling. Notice how I'm kind of guiding the back foot closer to the board. That's kind of what you want to do. You're jumping towards the board because you are kicking it away. So that's how you're going to get your back foot to follow the board too. Now let's just go ahead and land a couple. And then after I land a couple and show you a couple slow motion clips, we'll do it while rolling.
Well, I am currently done editing the video, so that's awesome. Uh, I didn't get to finish the video end or anything like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it now. But to go ahead and recap on the video with a couple things that I taught you. First off, like I said earlier, you need to learn how to pop shove it and you need to learn how to kickflip. If you haven't learned how to ollie, I guess you need to learn how to ollie too, but it's mainly just kick, flip, and pop, shove it. Go ahead and learn how to do those. And then with that, you can go ahead and start working on this trick. Uh, this trick is pretty simple to do whenever you actually like start doing the flip. It's all about just practice, 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 practice. Uh, again, I'm gonna say that in every video, practice makes perfect. So definitely go ahead and keep doing that as much as possible. Get the flick in, get the pop in, get the shove in, you know, get all that. And then go ahead and start working on getting your front foot catch. Then you can do your back foot catch. I did it pretty much in order of how to do a varial kickflip or how I learned how to do it. And it does take a little bit to learn how to do it, but eventually you will get it. It just takes some time. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a little bit. It has been I think a week since I've uploaded and that's because I've been working on my car. <sighs> And my car is almost done. I have to release a video for it on February 22nd, so that should be Friday. I don't know if I'll be able to film a video tomorrow or not. Today is Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday. I'm running out of time here. I've noticed that. Oh boy, I'm, uh, I'm not done with my car yet, so I'm going to release it early because... I, I promised y'all I'd release it on February 22nd, so I'm gonna release a video. It's not finished yet, just know that, but it's it's almost there. I promise you, it's almost there. Uh, I hope you're excited for the theme because I'm very excited for it. It's so awesome, I can't wait. I actually love my car a lot right now, and I'm gonna be putting a lot more on it and a lot more to it in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, just depending on just finances and stuff like that. But so far, it's looking awesome, and I cannot wait for everybody to look at it. If this video did help you out and you did learn how to vary, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and comment down below saying you learned how to vary or if you just like my content go ahead and leave a thumbs up too also if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that I do have a little icon like right here somewhere I think it's right here somewhere uh, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button that'll help me out a lot I appreciate every single one of you guys you are awesome the next couple of skate videos I think I'm gonna try to start doing are like how to tray flips and doing front side backside 180 stuff like that for some reason I lost my tray flips, so I have to relearn those again I know the basics of how to do them, but for some reason I can't catch them anymore. And I don't know if it's the board that I'm using. I don't know if it's just because I suck. It's probably because I suck, I'll be honest. I, I do kind of suck. But, um, but that's gonna be it for this video. So again, leave a like, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Y'all stay awesome. Later, guys. <laughs> I didn't know where the board was.